SB here, and welcome to another card breakdown. Today we'll be looking at Angelic Ascension. Angelic Ascension is a PvP quick action with a 5 cost and 2 diamond threshold. Hmm, needs more Gregorian chant. When played, a troop of your choosing receives a blessing from the heavens and transforms into an angel. Aww. The angel has a 4 attack, 4 defense, the flight keyword, and a totally rad sword with which to smiteth thine enemies. Dramatic intros aside, the first thing to look at with this card is its true cost. Not only are you spending 5 resources, but you also have to sacrifice a troop. Yes, you're likely improving the quality of your board, but there is no net increase in your board position. Conversely, you could just play a Cloud Titan, and then have a 4-4 flyer without the sacrifice. Because Angelic Ascension is a quick action, one use could be as a combat trick to play on one of your early troops after it's blocked. However, this gives the Ascension only a minor window of opportunity, and one that's blatantly telegraphed at that. Holding 5 resources open and expecting your opponent to block a piddly 1-1 or 2-1 with a target of value is very unlikely. The double A can target enemy troops as well, but this isn't a use you should really plan for, as spending the resources and the card to only transform a troop will likely put you at a significant disadvantage. But if you're staring at a transcended, you bless him right in the face and turn that dude into an angel. With the limitations on using Angelic Ascension and its true cost taken into consideration, it just isn't good enough to play in constructed PvP, given the relative power of other 5 cost cards such as the Menacing Grolk and Phoenix Guard Aeronaut. Perhaps if there are angel-themed cards in future sets, this might warrant another look. In draft, playing this is really based on your fortune during the draft. This isn't a great pick, but transforming a troop into a 4-4 flyer is okay. The disadvantages of this card are still present though, but if you inadvertently drafted into a contested shard and ended up with no bombs and a glut of early game diamond troops, well, take a refresher course in drafting signals and make the best of Angelic Ascension. Looking at PvE... The weapon provides a targeted troop with a plus one attack and defense, making your angel a 5-5 flyer as permanent bonuses carry over during transformation. The trinket allows two troops to be targeted. While knitting two angels with one card is okay, you'd still have to have two troops in play to take advantage of this. Now, normally, when a game introduces angels into the lore, there's a high likelihood that future expansions will build off the heavenly host. As such, throw this card and the equipment in the arc and wait for the saints to come marching in a future set. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please take the time to subscribe. Hope to see you in Hex for some good games and good times.